In 2002, They Might Be Giants released their first children's album, and its success took the band by surprise. It sounds crazy to say this, but we weren't really planning on that record being, you know, a particularly important one. The success of our first kids album, No, was um, immediately followed up by um, the, uh, the meeting down at the crossroads with the Disney Corporation. <laughs> You guys should definitely have a Grammy. This is one of those one of those kind of meetings. You guys should definitely have a Grammy. You guys should definitely get into some you know character development with like you know animation stuff, which we haven't done yet. And uh, you should definitely make a science album for kids. The Brooklyn-based band featuring the two Johns, Flansburg and Lavelle, had spent two decades touring alternative rock venues and crafting their distinctive brand of classic pop songs. You can hear in the end by the light switch Who watches over you Make a little birdhouse in your soul not They dabbled in commercials and created well-known theme songs from Malcolm in the Middle and The Daily Show. They really hadn't planned on making more kids' albums. But they were very persuasive. Um, they, they, they used the, the gimmick of money. And, um, and that was fascinating to us and almost hypnotizing. Uh, but they also offered us artistic control. Well, whatever their true motivation, their first album for Disney went gold, their second won the Grammy for Best Children's Album, and their latest, and arguably greatest, is that inevitable They Might Be Giant science album. Science is real, from the Big Bang to DNA. Here comes science. Is that supposed to be sort of a joyous announcement or more of an ominous? It's a threat. Yeah, yeah. Here comes science. Yeah. Ready or not? No, no, of yeah. course not. And it's 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 all very uh, it's all very um, you know it's like a parade. I mean, the, the two previous ones are here come the ABCs, here come the one two threes. They're meant to be uh, welcomed yeah. things that uh, children are you know being introduced to perhaps, and this will be a, a lifelong uh, happy relationship. Come on, come on and meet the elements. May I introduce you to our friends, the elements, like a box of paints that are... On Here Comes Science, the elements are like a box of paints. Within the cell, there's a tiny spiral staircase. DNA is a spiral staircase. That tells the cell just how it's going. And the circulatory system is... The blood mobile, the blood mobile, a delivery service inside us. We didn't want it to be medicine. You know, we, we were really thinking kids deserve actual uh, entertainment. The, the, same, the same thing that we would try and create for adults, we thought maybe should be available for kids. The demand for this stuff seems to be, you know, pretty... Uh, pretty solid. The other song I like is I Should Have Been Was Not a Star. And I also like Computer Assistant Design. I really like all of them. We love all their CDs and we've seen them one other time. My favorite songs are I Am a Paleontologist, Electric Car, Roy G. Biv, and Computer Assisted Design. Um, the one about the elements I thought was good. It's catchy and it is educational at the same time. I mean, stuff I didn't learn when I was a kid. What do you like about them? Well, I really really like science and I want to be a scientist. So do I. I want to be a scientist too. The band will be touring extensively throughout the rest of the year with three new shows, including some that are a celebration of the 20th anniversary of their classic album Flood. And I don't even know if 25 years in rock and roll can prepare any band for this. They're doing kid shows like the one today at the American Museum of Natural History here in New York City, performing under the whale. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Those are words that we never thought we would say. Oh, no, no, I never go to work. Oh, no, no, I never go to work. Oh, you know, 
when you do a rock show and you're, when you're a rock performer, you really get used to people paying very close and rapt attention to what you're doing. And um, performing for kids is kind of the opposite. They do things like sit facing that wrong way, or they talk to each other during a, our show, um, and and they don't applaud if they don't feel like it, and they you know maybe they don't applaud even if they feel like it. Even getting an encore is kind of an odd thing because you know just after you finish saying goodbye in a rock show, you then return. And that's like, that is, you know, that is a... That's basic, a hard one to basic, explain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> what they just said they were, had to go. I mean, I, I think the thing is also that we, 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 we want to put it out there that we're still not experts on science, that we are, we are pro-science and we are into the idea of kids becoming enthusiastic about it as a topic, but we still don't know, you know a huge amount about science, so it, it, you know, we can feel confident that we've said everything that we think is right and put it all in the song, but whether that then communicates itself effectively is a whole other question. I, I mean, I think we're, we're going to find out whether people are actually getting stuff from it. Thanks for coming. Brian Mallow for Time.com.